is us coming up to Blue Lake. Yeah, Blue Lake. Okay, Club Lake should be over the bend there somewhere. Mountain in Australia yeah. at 2196 meters. Wow. 96? Uno, Uno numero. numero. Uno. There's Club Lake down there. something gnarly <laughs> like Albina Decent. Yeah, this beautiful peg. That is very nice. I'm drive it through my stomach. Oh, it's up, it's something style. wrong with you. That's so I don't actually know where my pegs are. For you, just okay. maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> oh, so, how do we all feel? End of day one? Yeah, good. Easy. I yeah. can do this for another 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Did like 15. Actually, really good. Yeah. How many K yeah. reckon we did? I think we did like 15, but it feels like 25. Really? Yeah, 15. it can't be 15. Nah, I'm not compared to a 30k a day. <laughs> nah, yeah, we've we definitely done more than 15, I think. <laughs> Should we, do we have to change our... Hey, Katie. Drink a lot of tea. Well, it's a good yeah, view. change our flight. Like, where are, we have Monday off. I have Monday off. Yeah. So do you. Why don't yeah. you change Why don't we just change our flight? Do you have Monday off? Mm, yeah, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, like it's so unique, all of it, isn't it? It is. It was like a fire in the sky. It's like volcanoes. I think, yeah, I think if we get everything done tomorrow, I think we should just sit ourselves up there, fill up with water, sit ourselves up there in the afternoon, just camp up there just for the, just to see that sunset. Yeah, yeah that was you know? sick. And then Sunday morning, just picture waltz out. on back. The red on the we water there. Oh man, that is epic. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that is... You could sell that.
Just woke up to this frozen morning. It was so cold last night. My feet just couldn't get warm. And then I shoved this down jacket down my sleeping bag and managed to warm them up. But we left the water outside and it's frozen. That was a rookie error. Um, but the sun hitting the mountains in the background. Oh, it's beautiful. The landscape's just completely changed. Check out my tent. I know. Hey, Matilda. Hey, how'd you sleep? A bit cold? A little bit chilly. <laughs> I don't think I did sleep. Oh, no, that's no good. So cold overnight. Oh, my toes are so cold. It's freezing. <laughs> Don't leave shoes outside. Unless you're you taking them out back. Oh. <laughs> Gonna be hiking like this. Oh, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Nothing. It's all right. You want more water? Like, feel our toes. Matilda thinks she's walking on stumps, but she's still being a hero. Smile. Okay, we're off to bag some more peaks this morning. Left the bags down at the tents, letting the tents thaw out because they got frozen overnight. And uh, we'll try and get to a few peaks this morning. We've got Mueller's Peak and then Mount Townsend, which is the second highest in Australia. All right, that's the trail there. Sort of just goes, I don't know if my finger's pointing on it correctly, but it sort of goes up there and then we'll go through the saddle up to that peak, which is Mount. Townsend, which is the second highest mountain in Australia, and it's 2,209 meters, so it's a baby compared to the others on the world stage, but it's still, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Some busher and a fresh piece of bread. Huge. Have you zipped up your tent? Yes. like 
this, isn't it? It's so crazy. Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And maybe there was sand or dirt in between, and over time it's just all washed out down. So you're left with just the granite. Mount Townsend. Woo! Woo! Second highest. Second highest, and our fourth peak. Yeah. On. Oh. Oh, we ditched our bags this morning and just head straight for the peak. There's another one down there. Which is Mueller's Peak. Should we get a bad photo? Then? Now we're up here. It's actually that one there. That's Mueller's Peak there. And we're just surrounded by. Yeah. Just rocks. So good. I don't know what it is. I think it's like granite or something. But we've got the mist pouring over here. It's cold but not windy. It's rather brisk actually. Yeah, we're in a band. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're, they're cool. I mean, they're only the tallest ones. Are... We've packed up our tents and uh, we're heading over to Mount Kosciuszko, which is cruising through. Rawson's Pass at the moment and then we will be going up to Cozzy highest mountain in Australia you can see the trail of people going up it's a popular hike and look there's loads of people down there taking the shortcut uh, from Charlotte Pass but we've taken a long way and bagged a few other peaks peaks and got to see some more landscape. Nice place to hike. Nice. We'll have some more. The VR Kosciuszko, Mount Kosciuszko, and uh, that's the highest mound in Australia. Great views from the top, and yeah, it's good. Glad to be up here, and now I'm gonna head back down, <laughs> just like that. So good. Hey, there's our stuff. I fucking hope so. There's our stuff. Alright, here we are, Rawson Pass. And this is the site of the highest toilets in Australia. <laughs> so get a load of that. Uh, another Beautiful spot, some beautiful views. There's a bit of fog coming over at the moment, but I think that will pass. And then we're going to head off on that way, see if we can get Ram's Head this evening, and we'll find another comfy place to camp.
it's Lake, Lake Kutupatamba out there. Lake Kutupatamba, and that's the highest lake in Australia. So, a lot of highs today. <laughs> I'm putting mine on because I'm. I oh know. I just love this. I'm not freaking. Wait. We are up on peak number six. Probably can't peak see shit. Peak number but six. Let's get some. Oh, man, we're just guns and just. Is that filming? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were just guns and just nailed up here. Yeah. <laughs> and we just ran basically. Yeah, we didn't run, ran. we walked, but. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Chris! I thought we were amping it up. No, no we got the, the, sun, the sunrise times wrong, but we were yeah. treated to the most amazing Milky Way um, and constellations. And actually, over there to the east, we literally have I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we have one, two, three, four of the um, planets of the solar system in a row. Jupiter, Mars, was it? No, Jupiter, Venus, Venus. Mars, and, and Saturn. Saturn. Yep. And then the moon, all in a perfect plane. So yeah. And there's stinky anus behind it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your anus hiding there. Yeah, so anyway, this is number six. Peak number six. Number six. And uh, we'll probably do one more this morning to bag seven in total. K7, baby. K7. So <laughs> and that'll be us. It was 10, but... Yeah, we were going for 13, for, and, and then we thought 12, and then we were like 10, and then we were like, nah, we're Thanks way cool for, for that. Hards. Yeah. <laughs> like, who works off a decimal system? I'm just keen for K7. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I think I can see a bit of first light coming out right over there. Yeah, there's a little tickle of light. The old tickle. A little slither of... Yeah. Is that someone moving? All right, so we got up really early and we bagged Ram's Head. Uh, and, oh, typical fashion, I got up way too early with everyone. And we we were just up like two hours before sunset, <laughs> or rather sunrise. So, oh, oh gnarly. Anyway, uh, so I just sat around here for a, a couple of hours and waited for this beautiful sun to show up which you can see in the background and yeah gonna head back to camp now and have some breakfast and then pack up and head home and we'll bag Mount Stillwell on the way home we'll also be checking out the seaman hut which is really interesting I think and I'm looking forward to check it out anyway I'll take you along with me and show you some good video of the valley that we're camped in overnight. I was sort of up on a plateau before, which is just behind me. You can see the mountains go up there and then onto a plateau and then final, finally up to Ram's head. But we're camping down the valley there. You can see the steel walkway, the trail heading through it. A winding river. There's a lot going on here. It's a really nice environment to be in.
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just over here at the Siemens Hut uh, Close Renovations. It's opening up in a couple of hours apparently because they're just taking down the temporary fencing but we don't have a couple of hours so there it is looks super cool inside it's like freshly renovated and I'll put a little video of what I can see through the window a bit of a sneak peek So, we're on the last leg, back to Sharp Pass. We're going to do Mount Stillwell, but we want to stop for a, a good lunch, just to have a little bit of a um, closure to this trip. So we might skip Mount Stillwell. And therefore we've only, well, we've done like six solid peaks. Now I think there might be a seventh one in there that we did inadvertently. Up there you can see the Stillwell chairlift and restaurant ruins that used to operate a chairlift from, all the way from Mount Stillwell down to Threadbow. And that's huge. And there's Mount Stillwell over there in the distance, which we won't be bagging. And down there you can see the path that we took two days ago on the way up to the highest mountains in Australia. Now we're just coming around the last couple of bends and we'll be back at Charlotte Pass. Jeez Louise! Holy cow! Oh, stretch the car for me. Oh, these shoes off. Sharp pass, we made it. Oh. Okay, one more bag, one more peak bag, people. <laughs> <laughs>